Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to add icons to your project using the Polymer Core icons. Now it allows you to import them using a simple HTML import like we have been using, and then after that you have access to a ton of SVG icons that you can style, resize, and shape how you need to. These Polymer icons are super easy to use and really easy to get started, so let's do that now. So in the last video, we introduced uh, some core layout elements, and what we did is we built this header panel that allowed for a toolbar at the top and then a content area below. As you can see, we have our toolbar up top and our content area below. And now we wanna add some life to this, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna be using these Polymer Core icons. And now these core icons are just a really easy way that if you're already using Polymer, that you can import these SVG icons. So what's really great about that is that you can use CSS to modify these icons and you don't have to worry about uh, changing them if they were some sort of an image. Also, you don't have to worry about font rendering because they're not a font, they're going to be SVGs. So let's go ahead and import what we need to import to get these icons working. Now, if you didn't install everything like we did at the beginning, you're gonna to need to install these core icons. Since we installed everything already in our Bower components, you'll see that we have core icons, core icon set, core icon buttons, core icon, and core icon set hyphen SVG. Now, if you don't have those installed, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and do so using the Bower install Polymer core icons uh, command. And I'm going to go ahead and paste the link into the description of the video from the Polymer project page that shows you the exact uh, Bower commands on how to install those. So the first thing we wanna do is import, like we have been already, we wanna import our core icons. So I'm gonna have another link here. Let's actually make this sidebar much smaller. And then instead of core toolbar, it's core icons. So uh, again, core icons.html. So we have Bower components, core icons, core icons.html. Now we're ready to use Polymer's built in core icons. For instance, if we wanted to use the Polymer logo, we could go ahead and drop that in here just by with a core hyphen icon element tag and then. Uh, we have an icon attribute where we're gonna pass this a string. This particular string is going to be Polymer, uh, since we're gonna be using the Polymer logo. Okay, now we just wanna close that element, and let's go ahead and refresh our page to see what we have. Now let's actually inspect this to see what we have here. And as you can see, we have this core icon, but if we open this up into our shadow DOM, you see we have an SVG tag with uh, some properties on it here. So that's really great. What's cool about this is now that we can uh, have this property here, we can actually style this with CSS. Now what's great about this, if we wanna actually style this, all we have to do is in our CSS, say we wanna style the core icon, and we can actually drill down a little bit more by using the attribute by having brackets here, and then we can say the icon attribute that's equal to polymer, just like that. Now we can style this icon specifically. So let's go ahead and give it some properties. We're gonna say color blue. It's gonna be this really ugly standard blue. And then we can say height of 50 pixels and a width of 50 pixels. Now let's check out our HTML, and as you can see, we have this big image here, and it's an SVG, so we're not getting any weird scaling things going on. We have the colors being blue, and you can see our height and width are overriding the core icon height and width. Now this is awesome and totally useful. Uh, we didn't have to waste any time installing any icon fonts. We didn't have to have any extraneous markup. We basically just have one tag that is the icon and it says what it is. So viewing your HTML, it's immediately obvious what that icon is. However, you may be wondering, what are the icons we can use? Obviously the Polymer icon isn't the only icon that we want. So we can come over here to the demo page where they have all of the core icons on the Polymer Projects website. I can make this page available for you in the comment section, or you can get there through that same other page that I have uh, listed in the, uh, the description section of the video. 
And as you can see here, we have all sorts of icons and they're listed in different types. We have the default set, which is what's going to be available through your core icons. And if we scroll down, you'll see we have some other icons like AV icons. And it says here that you're going to have to import AV icons.html. So before you could use these, you would have to import avicons.html. And scrolling down, you see we have communication icons, oh, we have device icons, um, so it gives you access to things like a Bluetooth, a charging, editor icons, hardware, um, all sorts of stuff in here, right? So uh, we even have these social icons, which you would have to import with uh, socialicons.html. That way you'd have the access to things like Instagram, Facebook, GitHub, the uh, typical icon sets that you'd see in things like Font Awesome are all here, and the icons look really great. I've actually been using these a lot on non-Polymer projects anyways lately, just through Google's own GitHub repository of them. So let's scroll up here, and for fun, let's just add some more. I'm gonna add this Android icon, because I like Android, and uh, let's scroll down here for core icon. I can just copy and paste this, and then you can see all it takes is just changing this to Android, saving, coming back to our page, refreshing, and we have another icon. There we're free to size and style however we please. Okay, so now we wanna to try to use some more icons from a different icon set. Let's say we wanna use these social icons. So let's go ahead and copy this uh, core icons import statement that we had before here. And instead of, uh, we're gonna keep this first path the same, so it's still in slash core icons. However, now it's going to be slash social icons.html. And now we have access to the whole host of social icons. So if we wanted to add one of those, Let's just paste in a new core icon, just like we had before. Now we're going to be using this social tag. So for icon, it's gonna be uh, social and then colon, which icon you want it to be. So let's say we wanted the Instagram and it's actually not just Instagram, it's post Instagram. So uh, social colon post hyphen Instagram refresh and we now see we have this nice Instagram SVG here that we can do whatever we want with it. Great, so we've now been able to just drop in an icon set using Polymer, using the basic core Polymer icons. Feel free to check out the core icons page that we showed you here to see all of the awesome icons there are. In the next video, we're going to explore these layout attributes that we talked about briefly in the previous video, like full bleed layout and vertical. So keep watching and learn more and more about what Polymer has to offer. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. Thanks Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.